Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're so well. I hope life is treating you okay and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup with you today. It has been a long time since I did a chit chat get ready with me. Well, has it been a long time? The last one was my loose skin video, which you guys loved. So I thought I'd do something similar today. Just have a chat, answer some of your questions and do some makeup at the same time. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Max Factor. So all of the products that I'm using today are from Max Factor and I'm really excited. I'm gonna do like a proper glam, feline, smoky wing, great for Christmas. All the emphasis is gonna be on the eyes because everyone's wearing masks at the moment. So you wanna do all your talking with your eyes, sexy, smoky, deliciousness. And I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit iffy. I've been trying to film this video all day. It's only 4 p.m. but it is pitch black outside. Not ideal for filming a makeup tutorial, but I hope the lighting is okay regardless. So all of the products will be linked down below and uh, let's get cracking. Pin back my fringe with some butterfly clips, but like literal, wow. This is nice, really cute. I think I'm gonna actually start with my brows. I'm gonna be using the Max Factor Brow Shaper Ultra Fine Shape Fill Define, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. I've actually really been liking a slightly darker brow recently. I've gone through a phase over the past year of a much more, like a lighter, more soft brow, but I got sent this and I've been wearing it for the past couple of weeks. And I really like the color. It's a very ashy brown and it is quite dark, but I'm really liking a darker brown with my lighter hair. Let's have a look at some of your guys' questions, shall we? Someone has literally just asked me how I do my eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> This is for you. How I personally like to do my brows is I like the front to be super duper fluffy. So I use a really fine brow pencil such as this one. And I literally start at the front and I draw little strokes. So you see these little lines? You wanna make sure that the top is really feathered. So at the top line, you can see the individual lines because that's what's gonna make it look fluffy. You just draw a line at the bottom, but I like to keep it quite soft. And then just to find the bottom line, I extend the tail. This is the area that needs the most work on me. And then the second most work needs to go on the arch at the top. So I just define that a little bit more. So it's quite a bold brow, but that's what I'm into right now. And it's also quite a ashy brown. So I am gonna use a slightly warmer brow gel to set them in place but also add a little bit of warmth back because I don't have really warm or cool brows they're quite neutral so this will just help neutralize it this is the brow revival densifying brow mascara in the color brown 003 and I just brush my brows up trying to keep them as fluffy as I can Ta -da! would you ever go on Strictly Come Dancing that is an excellent question while I answer it I am going to pop some concealer on my lids and I'm going to use the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Concealer so I've actually talked to Tim about this because we're obsessed with Strictly Come Dancing it's like our favorite thing I think I'd love to go on Strictly I think I'd be absolutely terrified um because I get pretty bad stage fright I think it would be the most amazing experience and I'd love to be able to dance like learn to dance like that I think I'd really really enjoy it but yeah pretty scary stuff this is actually a lip liner but I'm going to use it on my eyes it's the color elixir lip liner in the shade brown and bold I want to do like a really exaggerated wing and make it really smoky so I'm going to use this to kind of map it out and act like a base so I think I want it to come up really high at quite a dramatic angle yeah what is the hardest thing about being an influencer okay I'm gonna keep drawing while I chat I'm very 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 aware of how lucky I am and how blessed I am to have the job that I have. I know that it's a very like desirable job that a lot of people would love to have. And I'm, I love my job and I'm so grateful for it. And I get to work with amazing brands such as Max Factor and I get to 
talk about things that I'm passionate about and share things that I'm passionate about for a living, which is amazing. I get to work for myself and I've worked for myself since I was 19. I always forget how hard it is to talk while I do my makeup. Okay, I'm just taking a little angled brush and I'm just gonna sharpen that edge slightly. Like that. Cool. And I'm just gonna softly buff out that edge as well. But there are definitely elements to the job that I personally find quite challenging. For example, today. Today's been quite a challenging day for me because my technology just wasn't working and I had a few technical difficulties. It's frustrating when things are out of your hands go wrong. You can't do your job. It's kind of like public knowledge because you either don't post or people comment on it. It is a bit frustrating. <laughs> day to day, I genuinely love and enjoy it, but there are definitely times where it is challenging. I'd say that and also um, having a kind of blurred line between work and life, which I think everyone would say, but I think that's partially my fault. Like. It is my job to create a work-life balance and to learn to switch off. Sometimes that's hard. Next, I'm going to go in with some eyeshadows. These are the Max Factor Masterpiece Nude Palette in Cappuccino Nudes. Now, I've been playing with these and they are gorgeous. The shimmers are super, super buttery. I'm actually going to start with the darkest shade, actually. And a small brush. I'm just going to go in on top of that liner. You want it to be the darkest at the lash line and then it will eventually fade up. Going with actually a little angled brush, it might be a bit easier for me. Yeah, there we go. I'm not finding that there's any fallout, but I did go in with the eyes first, just in case. Do the other eye. Okay, let's get another question. Do people treat you differently after your weight loss? This is, a, this is a question that I think I might do an entire video on, I don't know. But I get asked all the time if I get treated differently now. And do I? <laughs> By the people who are in my life already and who have been in my life for years, no, absolutely not. I really, I don't think anyone treats me any differently at all. But I think that that's because of the group of people that I've chosen to surround myself with. I think people who I was friends with or who were in my life before, who I know really well, started treating me differently because of some, because of the way that I look, regardless of whether I've lost weight, gained weight. If the people in my life start treating me differently because of external reasons like that, I would be really concerned because those aren't the kind of people that I think you need in your life. I think I've got a good enough support group around me of people that regardless of the way I look, their attitude towards me and their treatment of me as a person doesn't change. Um, and that's what I would expect from like a respect point of view. Maybe when it comes to people that I don't know so well, I would say I probably do get treated a little bit differently. I don't think it's the weight loss. Well, well, I can't answer for them, but I don't think it is massively the weight loss. I think it is because of how I hold myself now. I am far more confident than like now than I was two years ago and I so in that sense I think my energy is probably quite different so people tr respond to that change of energy by treating me differently I don't know whether it's because of the weight loss I think it's because of the emotional weight loss rather than the physical but again if people are treating me differently because I'm slimmer that's on them. Next, I'm gonna take this beautiful bronze shimmer and I'm going to go over the edge. Oh, that's really pretty. Make sure you're keeping the wing nice and dark. Okay, now I'm gonna line my lash line and I'm gonna use the Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Liner in Velvet Black. This is a really, really good black liner. And I'm just gonna kind of define 
the line or the wing slightly with the liquid and I will go back over it with the dark color. I just wanna make sure it's a little bit more crisp just on the bottom. Just setting that on top. I love. I think with foundation, mascara and everything, it will really start to come together. But on the lid, I am gonna go in with this beautiful shimmery taupe color. Starting it on the center, pulling it down, blending it in with the liner. And then this is literally going all the way up. Yeah. We want like Christmas, festive, glitter ball eyes. This would be such a fun New Year's Eve look as well. I'm very much into that. And then I'm just taking the um, shimmery darker brown again and just blending that in. What's another question? How the hell are you staying so motivated? <laughs> That's a really good question. And honestly, I'm not massively motivated <laughs> right now. Let's move on to the next step before I cover that beefy topic. You will have seen me use this, I think, already in a video. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It is the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Flawless Flexi Hold Foundation, three in one primer, concealer, and foundation. And I'm in the shade 76 Warm Golden. This is my current go-to foundation. I've been wearing it for the past couple of weeks and I'm, I'm really loving it. It's super duper lightweight but lasts really, really well on your skin. But it looks unbelievably natural. Like I'd say it's a, a medium buildable coverage. And I just put it on with a brush and then tap it in. And it gives me a lovely amount of coverage whilst remaining very natural. And it gives you a lovely, lovely glow. The skin for this look, I'm gonna keep quite light. So how am I staying so motivated? Honestly, I've not been particularly motivated. There's obviously different types of motivation in different aspects of my life. So there's motivation to work, there's motivation to exercise, motivation to get out of bed in the morning. When people talk about motivation, I think it's important that you're kind of thinking about what the motivation is for and to do what. At the moment, I've been quite motivated to work because I haven't really had a choice. It's been a very crazy period of time for work. In the industry that I'm in, November is a mental time. Black Friday and Christmas. So there's a lot of brand work at the moment, which is incredible. Don't really have a choice but to be motivated because, you know, I have deadlines and I have a lot of work that needs doing. But in the same breath, I haven't been particularly motivated in other aspects of my life, such as exercise. I've not worked out in four days, which is the longest I've gone in quite a while. Because honestly, I'm just a bit exhausted and I'm putting all of my energy into my work at the minute. I'm not gonna say I don't have time because there's always half an hour somewhere that you can squeeze it in. For me, being motivated isn't so much about actual motivation, it's more about prioritizing. My motivation is quite low at the moment, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. I'm gonna conceal with the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Flawless Concealer, 70 and 76. I'm not actually going really much lighter under my eyes. I think online there is a lot of pressure at the moment to be motivated and to be super productive. I said this recently in a video, people don't post about their failures. People don't post about what they're not doing. They post about what they have done that day. You can't really do like an anti, like a minus post. <laughs> you can't be like, this is what I didn't do today. People look at other people's stories and they look at other people's social media and they see them achieving all this stuff and doing all this stuff. I think it makes you, or me at least, feel bad for underachieving. The world that we're in at the moment, I think we just need to kind of give ourselves a break. Like, <laughs> we are going through a very intense period of time right now. Being motivated is gonna be something that comes and goes. I'm speaking from personal experience. Like some days I wake up and I just wanna kill it and I wanna achieve everything on my to-do list and bosh it out and feel really like accomplished at the end of the day. And then some days I wake up and I'm like, nah, not gonna happen today. So to answer your question, how I'm staying so motivated, <laughs> 
I'm not. <laughs> when I am motivated, I try and take that and use it and get as much done as possible because to be honest, you don't really know when the next day like that's gonna come. I like this concealer, it's quite like a dewy finish. If you'd like some tips on how to stay motivated, I would say set yourself really achievable goals, like small little things every day that you genuinely think you can do. I think there's nothing worse than setting yourself these crazy to-do lists. The second you don't finish one, that is when you're gonna start feeling demotivated because you're proving to yourself that you're not going to be able to achieve things. Whereas if you set yourself realistic things and you start ticking things off, the momentum will go away. You're like, well, if I could do that, of course I could do this. And it continues. Setting yourself up for failure is not the way to go. <laughs> it's not the way to make yourself feel motivated because you're not going to be motivated to do something that is unachievable. It's just not going to happen. I'm now gonna put on some cream products. So the first one is, I used to love these. This is the Max Factor Blush. It's a cream, Miracle Touch creamy blush. And this is in the color Soft Copper. It's like a lovely warm blush shade. And I love this. I am gonna tap that on the apple of my cheek. I'm not gonna use loads and loads of blush, but just enough to add a bit of color. So fresh and glowy, I love it. And it blends so well as well. Like it, it goes on top of powder, really lovely. And then one of my absolute favorite products from Max Factor ever is this. This is the Max Factor Miracle Sculpting Wand in the shade Universal. If you want your skin to look like wet, like wet glass skin, this is the product, like it really is. It's one of these like squeezy um, sponges. Look at this. Like this is ultimate like wet look skin, gorge. It's definitely more of like a texture change rather than like putting a glittery highlight all over your face. I've been wearing it all week. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> I'm so obsessed. I'm obsessed. Right, I'm gonna quickly contour my nose and my cheeks and I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna keep the lower lash line pretty soft. So I'm just gonna use this soft brown here, really, really softly on the lower lash line, just so that the top lash line doesn't look really random. And then I'm gonna take the lightest shade just on the inner corner of the eye. On my lashes, I'm gonna use the Max Factor Lash Revival Volume Boosting Primer and the Mascara. So these in combination are supposed to give you longer and fuller looking lashes in four weeks. And they are enriched with bamboo extract, which is supposed to help lash strength and promote healthy lash growth. So I'm gonna pop the primer on first. Going in with the primer. Another question is, am I looking forward to Christmas? Um, yes, I am actually. I mean, I'm not, I don't know about Christmas day because I mean, does anyone know what's gonna happen on Christmas day? I don't. So I'm not excited for Christmas day. Look, you see how, how cool does that look? Because obviously I don't know what I'm excited for. I am actually really looking forward to just Christmas time. Um, and the festivities, Tim and I are decorating the Christmas tree this weekend, which I think you guys will have already seen. So that's exciting. I'm just excited to like, while everyone's at home, just make the most of like watching Christmas movies and getting festive. I think Tim and I might watch The Nightmare Before Christmas soon, which I'm excited for. That's a classic and he's never seen it. I'm going in with the mascara on top. I love these brows as well. They look like I just got them tinted. So yeah, I am looking forward to Christmas, but I think it's hard to look forward to Christmas day when, I mean, who knows what Christmas day is gonna look like. Such a nice mascara. My lashes look super like separated and then a little slick on the lower lashes. Finally, onto the lips. Yeah. I'm gonna go for like a 90s lip. So I'm gonna use the same lip pencil that I used, the dark brown that I used on my eyes. I'm 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the Max Factor lipstick in the shade Toasted Almond. Ooh. Should we take these little <laughs> butterflies out? So here is the completed look. I am so obsessed with this makeup. My skin looks so glowy. These eyeshadows are beautiful. It's a lovely cool tone palette. I love the gradient. Like it's a really good amount of lights, medium and dark colors, a good amount of shimmers, a good amount of mattes. Um, my lashes look really nice. This lip color is gorgeous, like gorgeous. And you guys know I already absolutely love this foundation and the liquid highlighter. I am completely obsessed with these and have been wearing them all week. I love. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope it inspires you to uh, wear something like this maybe for the festive period. I feel like I should be going out right now. I'm not going to for obvious reasons, but I feel like I should be hitting the town. I hope you enjoyed just having a little chat with me, chatting about whatever, answering some of your questions. It felt quite nice to do a little makeup video. I haven't done one in ages, so I really hope you enjoyed. Hope you have the best day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.